As harvest begins, soil testing and fall fertilizer plans follow closely behind. Today's Iron Talk should give you some food for thought to increase the return on your fertility investments. Fall fertilizer can be great because you give dry fertilizer products like MAP and DAP more time to break down and become available. Plus, it's one less job you have to do next spring. However, it's my contention many farm operations will be actually wasting money on fertilizer this fall. And that means there's an opportunity to get a better return on your fertilizer investment dollar. Here are a few ideas. First, fall urea is many times a bad idea. Urea is not the best form of N to use when you've got months before you'll plant and there's a possibility of heavy snow or rain between now and then. And hydrous or ammonium sulfate would be better options. Otherwise, wait until spring to save yourself 10, 20, maybe even 60% of the product that you'll lose by putting it out right now. Second, banding is much more efficient. Especially if you have a high calcium or a high pH soil, nutrient tie-up is a real thing. For example, when calcium ties up phosphorus, it becomes insoluble in water and may never come available for a future crop. By banding, you keep the nutrients concentrated so they naturally resist tie-up. Also, you can protect nutrients like phosphorus by using a veil or just using a protected phosphorus source like ProGerminator. Third, deep placement is much better than shallow incorporation or leaving nutrients on the soil surface. We prefer to use a knife and put our P and K down 10 inches deep in the soil where they're safe and available for our crop all throughout the growing season. Protecting nutrients from runoff and nutrient stratification in the top few inches of soil is a good idea for crop production, but it's also good for our whole industry when it comes to preserving water quality. Fall fertilization is going to happen to some degree, and it's not always a bad thing. Just pick the right products, use the proper equipment to be efficient and environmentally conscious. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.